morning. Thank you for having us here today. I'm Carol Davies. I'm the administrator of the Area Agents on Aging. On uh, standby for our agency, we also have Anne Devine, our deputy administrator, uh, Doreen Klein, our fiscal officer, and Dean Meese, our director of senior center services. I'm here today to uh, request the commissioner's approval on our contracts for the 2020-2021 fiscal year that began on July 1st. Uh, we provided a list of 37 different contracts with a value of $1,186,000. Um, as far as the contracts go, there are three items I want to call to your attention. Um, Generally, the Department of Aging limits us to um, any increases for our providers by the amount that they allow in our aging block grant program directive. We understand that amount to be a 2% increase for this fiscal year. So for many of our provider contracts, we have built that amount into what we have requested in the attached sheet. There is one provider that we would like to add to the sheet. Uh, we just found out in the time between when we sent this sheet and today that one of our providers, the uh, provider is called Right at Home, they provide personal care and they're located here in Lebanon. It's a franchise of a larger group and the Lebanon franchise will be closing its office, but the York franchise is willing to take on people that we have in this particular area and continue to serve them. So we would like to add the York uh, office of right at home as an additional uh, contractor on this sheet at the same rate that we pay the Lebanon office, which they have agreed to accept at $18.90 an hour. So we would like to add that to our list. I also want to comment on uh, two of the contracts that we have listed. There are two contracts where we have providers who have requested more than uh, a 2% increase. One is the Myerstown Baptist Church, where um, which is the facility that uh, hosts our Myerstown Senior Center, they have requested a 10% increase. And uh, PCN, our contracted bill provider, they have requested a 3% increase. Uh, so in both of these cases, we have informed the provider that uh, any increase such as that is subject not only to the county commissioner's approval, but also to the approval of the Department of Aging through a special waiver process that we must follow. At this point, we know the Department of Aging has pushed back on the increase requested by the Night Myers Camp Church. So um, uh, I've gone back to the church to see if we can uh, come up with an amount that is more acceptable to the Department of Aging. So I'm not exactly sure how you would like to handle that for this meeting today. If you want to exclude that one or if you want to um, uh, make some other decision on that. Uh, we also do not have an, a, a, a response yet from the Department of Aging about the PCM increase. So I, I don't know how you want to handle those two items. Well, can we do them subject to the approval, or would you rather us? That's fine with me. That works for me. Yeah. yeah. What's the pleasure of, uh, of our board here? Is there a motion to accept as is and subject to the approval of those two? Well, I have a concern about the 10% increase. Could we just not act on that uh, that facility? Just leave that out? And well, so this is, we, we, aren't act, we would not be acting on it unless it's approved by the uh, state. Okay, all right. I mean, is that accurate? That's correct. We could not uh, allow anything that they did not approve and you did not approve. Does that help, Bill, if that get... Yeah, I hope, uh, and of course, if it... If the state wants to reimburse for that amount, I get. I suppose that solves the issue for me. But. Well, one note in Carol's summary there uh, regarding the Myerstown Senior Center is that that rent has stayed the same since inception in 2012. So I think this is the first time they're asking for an increase. I don't know whether the state will consider that when they look at it or if that's a consideration for you, Carol. Um, the state has, has said that that, that, they, um, that not asking for uh, several years isn't necessarily a, a reason to approve in this particular case. Um, I will say that most of our senior center contracts have not been increased during the last several years. Um, their current rate that we're paying at the senior center is not the highest rate we pay, it's not the lowest rate we pay. And if we would grant them that increase, they would still not be the highest rate that we pay 
And I understand, because um, I had the qu same question about Myerstown that I uh, asked Carol about last night, that uh, they did give one month of rent free, but we haven't had the senior center open for several months, and Carol also needs more room. So if indeed more room is included in the price, I think that would give more leverage with the state. If not, then the state, I think, will come back to the 2% or maybe they'd give an exception to 3 So as long as we are uh, letting Carol and the state finish their negotiations and not locking in the price that they're requesting, I would be favorable to go ahead with a motion. And that, that also includes the uh, York franchise uh, substituting for, at, at, you know, right at home for Lebanon. Is that that's part of this as well. We would actually have to include both in the uh, listing because okay. uh, revenue franchise is continuing through uh, July 31st. Okay. All right. All right. Is that acceptable? We have a motion. Is there a second, Joel? Second. Okay. Um, and we're clear on what we're doing. We're not uh, accepting the 10% until whatever is approved by the state is, is approved for, for Myerstown. All right, any other discussion or clarification needed? I would just point out yes, that, Go ahead. I would point out that uh, as we typically do when we present our contract, we do present our budget for the fiscal year 2021 for your um, review late. Uh, we, as you can see in the budget, uh, we receive um, an additional amount of funding for the fiscal year from both virus funding from both the FFCRA Act and the CARES Act. So uh, with those funds and our typical uh, aging funds, we would not be requesting any additional funds from the uh, general fund to fund this contract for the year. Thank you. All right. If not any further discussion, all in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Both same sign, so moved. All right. Thank you, Carol. Cool.